Hi everyone, this is Jess here. Long time no see. I hope you're all doing great. I've been doing great. So I was just doing some clean up on my wardrobe and I do find that I've owned some of my clothes for about 5 years. Some of them are even 10 years. Can you imagine I've been owning my clothes for 10 freaking years? Um, so I thought that it would be fun to show you all my 10 staple classic piece that maybe you should also own especially if you're petite. So without further ado, let's just jump right to the video. I bought this dress from Topshop at least 11 years ago. This picture was taken back in 2011, but I'm pretty sure I bought this dress probably a year or two before this picture. Overall, it is still in a great condition as of now, except that there are a lot of lint balls that you can't even see from the camera, but they are also easily removed with lint balls remover. However, I actually haven't really worn this dress for quite a while now because obviously I've gained some weight but it's still okay, I can still wear it comfortably. This dress is also a great underlayer piece during fall or winter season. This polka dot long sleeve shirt is one of my classic pieces and this is one of my most worn shirt because it is just so easy to pair with. And because of its silky material and its long sleeve, I feel like I can never look too casual with this even if I'm just pairing it with short jeans. I got this shirt from Zara at least 9 years ago and I can still see myself keeping this and wearing it for the next at least 5 years. I usually wear this with my short pants but this also looks good with black leather skirt or black linen pants for a more formal look. And last but not least, this shirt is absolutely crease free so I don't even need to iron it. Next up is my green halter top. I bought this from a local brand shop in Malaysia 8 to 9 years ago and this piece is still holding up really well. This was my first piece of halter neck style and it made me fall in love with halter neck ever since. I feel like this particular neckline made your arms look slimmer. This piece is also so versatile so I can pair this with my short pants or with this brown midi dress. I just love this combination of color. Okay, I will need to combine outfit number 4 and number 5 because they are the same style which is peplum style. Peplum was a big trend a few years back but I don't mind wearing it until now because I just love it because it highlights your waistline and it creates an illusion of that hourglass body. For outfit number 4, I actually don't have the actual clothes with me because I put it at another place. But anyway, I'm just gonna pop up a lot of photos of mine here. So I bought this top from Miss Selfridge about 8 to 9 years ago. It was definitely on the pricier side but the fabric feels so luxurious. It's just so soft and shiny even after all this year. And I didn't really baby my clothes so I usually just throw all my laundry in the washing machine and hang it dry. However, I actually don't really wear this a lot because I just feel like it can only be paired with a certain button. Maybe because of its lace and all, so I cannot just throw like, for example, my short denim jeans. But I am still keeping this top because of its beautiful color. I just cannot find any other shirt with this kind of color. Outfit number 5 is another peplum collection. It's this blue ribbon peplum top. Okay, so unlike the previous one, this is still one of my staple pieces that I'm still religiously wearing it until now and maybe for the next 10 years. Simply because this top is just very easy to pair with, I can dress it down with my short denim pants or dress it up with my white linen pants. This combination is also one of my go-to style to go to let's say church or any formal dinner because it's just so classy and feminine and the color combination is just so cute. Also since the ribbon is adjustable, so even if I'm gaining weight in the next 10 years, I can still wear it comfortably. I bought this top from a local brand in Indonesia 6 to 7 years ago and it is definitely one of my best purchases. This is also one of the classic pieces. I bought this black off-shoulder top from a local designer in Indonesia about 5 to 6 years ago. This off-shoulder is definitely a feminine piece to wear. I feel like I can pair this with anything and I can still get that feminine look 
from it. This top is also very comfortable to wear despite of its off-shoulder style. It has this rubber-like material underneath and it just glues your skin so it won't even move or slip down from your shoulder. The next one is my cardigan. I bought this from Sara about 7 to 8 years ago and I honestly regret buying this at first because it always slips down from my shoulder so it's not very comfortable to wear. However, I just always reach out for this cardigan somehow, maybe because I really like the way it drops and it kind of gives a softer silhouette compared to a normal cardigan. I usually wear this on top of a mini dress or a tank top, simply when I feel like too much of skin involved. And yes, I'll be keeping this cardigan probably for the next 10 years too, because I just love it. So outfit number 8 is my midi jumpsuit. I never thought that I'd be fit for any midi style because I always thought that it's only meant for taller people. This jumpsuit though was actually my first midi purchase that kind of brought me to my new personal style. Well, I made a video on how to wear midi styles when you're petite, I'll just leave the link in the description box. Anyhow, to be honest, this jumpsuit itself is not my staple piece and actually my least favorite among all. Because, as you can see, I couldn't really zip up the zipper on my own, so I have to always get people to help me to wear, which makes it really inconvenient to wear. I am not sure if I'll be keeping this piece for a very long time, but at the moment, it just stays in my wardrobe. Unfortunately, I don't have these clothes with me too and I only have this photo taken with me but basically it's a crop top with a v neckline and I absolutely love this piece because it just fits right on my body. Sadly, this is not really well made as the fabrics are already losing up despite that it is the newest collection among all. Alright, last but not least, saving the best for the last is my number one most worn and my go-to piece in my wardrobe. I bought this from Zara about 5-6 to six years ago. I just love how it's just so flowy and casual, but it still has some kind of design at the bottom, so it's not just like a boring t-shirt. So I usually just pair this with my short pants, denim jeans, but it does go well with any long pants too. And I'll be keeping this for a very long time too because it's just my go-to number one piece. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!